all right good evening guys welcome back to rainy by tutorial good evening good morning good afternoon it all depends on when you are coming across to this video so you are welcome i welcome all of you my returning subscribers i welcome all of you um today we are going to talk as we all know that um in this channel we only talk about the tips and tricks on how to pass jam utme examination and also we also help you guys secure admission the only way you can become one of us is by uh, clicking the subscribe button then liking the video if you have any if you have any information if you have anything you want us to know you can let us know in the comment section all right so today i will be revealing you uh, the last time as we all know that the exam is always a is a is a the exam is next week all right is next week at hand so as we all know that we have to buckle up anything we are doing now we have to make sure that we are doing it, we are hasten up, alright? So today, now, we, the last last week, I uploaded videos about antonyms in English language. So one thing about these things is that Jam, when I want to ask questions on antonyms and synonyms, because uh, although that is where they hold you guys, normally hold you guys hostage. So when they want to ask questions about all of this, they will always go revolve around those, they are their uh, previous words so now i have i've gotten out the whole word from 1992 to 2023 so i want to give you guys the word so that you'll be familiar with those words i didn't say you should go and cram those words please i only said i will be giving you guys those words so you'll be familiar with this word so that whenever you come across any of your um exam this uh this time you are going to tackle this very well all right so now we're going to look at uh, look at we are basically looking at uh, synonyms, that's the one synonyms, and we, are, we are have a whole number of parts. I split all the videos into parts, so this one is just the very first part. So, second one, anticipate the second one, the second one is still coming, alright? I, I promise you guys I'll be giving you guys content, more of content, updates, back to back, alright? So, now today, um, we are looking at um, uh, Skeptica. Skeptical. The word skeptical is a kind of is nearest in meaning to doubtful, right? Doubtful. So the word skeptical means not easily convinced, having doubts or reservation. Therefore, the nearest meaning to skeptical among the options is doubtful, right? So that's the one among. The, so you should know this word. It's not as if I'm telling you to go and cram this word. No, I didn't say you should go and cram. That. I only say you should know this word so that whenever it comes. You come across it you will definitely know the meaning all right so stay tuned let's continue so the next one on our list is a um, who has skeptical again that simply means that this question repeated twice all right anywhere you see page like this and it's repeated simply know that it's repeated twice all right so the next one on our list is a uh, insolvent the next one on our list is insolvent so insolvent is bankrupt Right, so so skeptical is a uh, bankrupt. So the next one we're looking at insolvent. Insolvent is bankrupt. Uh, bankrupt. So that is the word that is that is a synonymous there among the options is uh, bankrupt. Okay, the word insolvent refers to the inability to pay debt when they are due. In, in other words, it means that a person or organization is financially broke or bank bankrupt, right? So therefore, the option that is nearest in meaning to insolvent is bankrupt. So I want you guys to know the, all of this word. But I bet you that all this word, you will see so many of them there, right? So just know it. it they might put it, but they might use uh, another option because it is not only bankrupt that, that uh, insolvent is synonymous to. So they can use another one. So once you know insolvent, then when you check uh, check the options, you know the one that is um, simply uh, that is synonymous to the given word. All right. So that's why we have the explanation there. So the explanation will help you to understand the word more better. All right. So now let's get to the next one. So the next one is. Um, we have in the air in the air in the air when used in this context means that something is uncertain uncertain or that not all details are fixed or known therefore the option uncertainty is the closest in meaning to the phrase in the air right so the uncertain is the option closest right so let's go to the next one we are taking it very very fast so that we will not miss we we'll don't waste much time on this video. So we have Paul Odandre. 
Quadrandre. The Quadrandre is per perplexity. Perplexity. Quadrandre means a state of not knowing what to decide, a state of di difficulty or perplexity. Its synonymous, its synonymous include bewilderment, dilemma, perplexity, puzzle, and uncertainty. All right. Next one the, on our list is emulate. Of course, we all know that emulate, condemn, SB, differentiate, it will go with imitate. So emulate means to match or surpass, typically by imitations. Is synonymous include imitate, copy, reproduce, mimic, mirror, echo, and follow. Right? So that's imitate. That's emulate, right? So let's go. Let's go. Next one is in indispensable. Indispensable is vital. That's the one the correct option there. The synonymous word there is vital. So the word indispensable means something or someone that is absolutely necessary or extremely important in a particular situation. In this context, it means that BC is a very important member of the staff. Therefore, the word vital is the closest in meaning to the ind indispensable. All right? So take out your time. Go through these words. We have the next one, repug repugnant. Repugnant is abhorrent. That is the next word there, the word that is synonymous to. So repugnant means extremely dis distasteful. Its synonymous include abhorrent, revolting, repulsive, repellent, and offensive. All right? Let's go to the next one. The next one, choreography, which is form of dancing. Choreography is a form of dancing. Choreography in this art of is the art of making dances. The gathering and organization of movement into order and pattern. Right? Now let's go to the next one. The next one is inflexible. Inflexible is unyielding. That's the word synonymous to inflexible there. Among the options is unyielding. The word inflexible means unwilling to change or compromise. Therefore, the nearest meaning to inflexible among the options is unyielding. So what you do, guys, just know this word i don't think you go and cram it just know the words and whenever you come across it boom you're you're answering answering it sharp 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 all right so the next one on our list is a uh, learn learn is the next one i'm doing learn is discover accumulate invent and allow learn is discover right in this context learn means to gain knowledge or skill by studying practicing being taught or experiencing something there therefore the nearest meaning to learn in the given option is discover which means to find out or learn with certainty all right so the next one is um um the next one there is lost for lossful is covetous lossful means having us or showing strong feelings of sexual desire in this case it will mean to be covetous you see envious quick hateful no none of them is covetous all right so let's go to the next one we are rushing as we all know the accused okay the fermenting is, is the word they are fermenting so which is inciting the foment is to instigate or incite or stir up an undesirable or violent sentiment or cause of actions right so that's the word there synonymous there is inciting then to the next one the next one on our list is um um ghana ghana is the next word which is collect the word ghana in the context of the sentence means to gather or collect therefore Collect. Therefore, the option nearest in meaning to Ghana is collect. All right? So, it is important you know this word so that it will definitely help you guys succeed. All right? So, let's invent. Where did I stop? Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This is actually. No. This is. No, this was this actually where I stop. College Ghana, okay. This is where I stop, okay. Now the next one there. You can severing. Severing, which is breaking. The word severing in the context of context in the context of the sentence means to break off or put the end to an end. Or put an end to 
Therefore, the option nearest in meaning to severin is breaking. Okay, the next one is dodo, which is easy. The word dodo is a British slang term that means something is very easy or straightforward to do or understand. Therefore, the option easy is the closest on the meaning to dodo. dodo. Alright, the next one is a jaunty. Jaunty. Jaunt is a cheerful. A jaunt is a cheerful. That's the word nearest in meaning. The word jaunt is an ad adjective that describes a lively, cheerful, and self confident manner. In this context of the question, it, it implies that Job gave Muhammad a cheerful or lively smile. Therefore, the option that is nearest in meaning to jaunt is a cheerful. Right? Next one on our list, it's aghast. Aghast. We have dismayed. We have dismayed. We have um, that's the call, as the word nearest nearest to aghast is dismayed. The word aghast is an adjective that describes a feeling of great su surprise or shock, often resulting in feeling disconnected. Or horrified. In feeling, in the context of the question, it is implied that a candidate will be shocked or dismayed at the first reading of the question. Therefore, the option that is nearest in meaning to our guest is dismayed. Next one is favorable, which is encouraging. The word favorable means advantageous or beneficial or beneficial. In this context, it refers to weather conditions that are suitable or encouraging for a game of t tennis. Therefore, the option nearest in meaning to favor of is encouraging. All right. I rush quickly. Next one, which is um, the next one on our list is vanquished, which is the next one, which is subdued. The word vanquished in the sentence of the, in the context of the, of the, in the context of the escaped. From Chukwemeka, he case the potter's way means defeated or overcome. In this case, the dragon has been defeated or subdued. Hence, the correct option is subdued. All right? Now, let's go to the next one, which is um, incessant, which is constant. That's the word nearest in meaning to that. That is constant. The word Incessant means something that is continuing without pause or interrupting. In this context, it refers to meetings that are happening constantly. Therefore, the option nearest in the meaning to incessant is constant. All right? Oh, the next one, which is the next one, is a has has a noise nose of stories. The word nearest meaning there is an instant. The phrase has a nose of nose for for stories. Okay, it has a nose for stories. Has a nose for is an idiom idiom. It's an idiom that means to have a natural ability to recognize or find a particular type of thing. Therefore, the nearest meaning to the phrase has a nose for is an instant. Right? Next one is exhibition. Exhibition. Exhibition nearest in meaning is among the options is display. The word exhibition in the context of the sentence refers to a public display of works of art or items of interest. Therefore, the nearest meaning to the word exhibition is display. Okay. The next one there is um, next one there is feeble. Feeble. The feeble. The word nearest in meaning is weak. The word feeble in the context of the sentence refers to something that is lacking physical strength, especially as a result of age or illness. In this case, it is used to describe the lamb as a weak, as a weak little animal. Therefore, the option that is nearest in meaning to feeble is weak. Okay, let's go to the next one, which is screamed. Next one is screamed, which is weird. That is the word nearest in meaning. The word screamed in the context of the sentence refers to a loud, a loud, sharp, piercing cry. It is often used to express fear, pain. Fear, 
pain or horror. In this case, it is used to describe the actress's reaction when she notices an object behind her. Therefore, the option that is nearest in meaning to scream this word. Right? So, the next one on our list, we have thought about fear, but okay, the next one on our list is jaunty. You will know jaunty, see? That's the reason why I said no jaunty. No all of them. So, when you see them, you definitely know the one to pick as your option. Wait, let me increase my resolution. I'm not... So, you definitely know the one to pick as your option. Alright? So, now, let's go to the next one. Jaunt is cheerful, we know that one. So that before you see that that simply means it's a repetition of word. They repeated it in that in a, the next year. Alright? So Dodo is easy. We already know that. It's just British slang, so we already know that. Um Agast is dismayed, so we already know that. So next one favorable is uh, uh, encouraging. is a repetition of words. They repeated it. Next one, we're looking at incessant is constant. We already know that. It's also a repetition of word. Next one is um, vanquished is subdued. We already know that. Is vision. You see, all of these things, mostly repetition of word. Is vision is displayed. Display. That's the truth that jam normally repeats question. So, what is this? Please, sir. Please, you guys should pardon me, please. I don't know what is actually wrong with this phone. Okay, so. Okay. So, the next one is a word, which is also a repetition of word, which is weak, which is fear, but it's also a repetition of word. Now, let's go to four clothes. Foreclose is exclude. The word foreclose in this context means to exclude or rule out. Rule out. Therefore, the option nearest in meaning to foreclose is exclude. Alright? The next one is... Um, next one there is exploded. Exploded is the punk. That's the word. The phrase exploded, widely heard... Beliefs means to disprove or debunk commonly accepted ideas or beliefs. Therefore, the option nearest in meaning is debunked. All right. Next on our, on our list is espoused. Espoused is subjected, supported, sorry. Supported. So the word espoused means to adopt or support a cause, belief, or way of life. In this context, of the sentence, it means that the policy, the, the policy has been supported by the ruling party. Therefore, the option supported is the closest meaning. All right. So the next one is inkling. Inkling is a possible idea. The word inkling refers to a slight knowledge or suspicion, a hint, a hint. In the context of the sentence, it means that his story gave them a slight idea or hint about what he experienced during the strike. Therefore, the option, a possible idea, is the closest meaning. All right? So, thank you guys for being with me, for also bearing with me from the beginning of this video to the end of this video. I love and cherish you guys so much. All right? So, if you have gotten any value from this video, I want to encourage you to give the like thumb to this video. If you have anything um, bothering you, you also let me know in the comment section. If you also have any video you want me to do for you, you have any update you want me to share for you, also let me know in the comment section. So, I'll be right there, right there to answer you. So, if you have not subscribed, you help us subscribe. All right? So, subscribe to the YouTube channel. If if you want to become one of our members so that we can take you, assist you till you gain admission. As long as you are one of our members, you will gain admission. That's certainly. So if you are, it doesn't matter if you have written jam for several years, all right? So we will help you and you will succeed, okay? So until I see you guys in my next video again, don't forget to check out for the part two of this video, all right? It's right there on the channel. So check it out so that 
you complete all these an antonyms and synonyms before the exam time because this is where jam hold you guys so stage all right because they know that most of the topics you guys normally you guys know most of the topics so they want to use this one to hold you back all right so don't forget i love you guys and i cherish you guys so until i see you in my next video again keep winning